If the world took climate change as a moral issue, it would radically, radically change the way this is being negotiated. as a species to rediscover um, our sense of connectedness to the natural world, to understand our role as part of the wider whole. I thought, as an evolution biologist, that with our big brains able to build scenarios to predict the future, that we would be more sensible about our use of resources. But it hasn't happened. And as I look back in, into the evolution of Earth, I see that other species always had to be pushed by crises to grow up and get more cooperative, to become mature species. Climate change, in my view, is going to force us to rethink uh, moral norms, uh, soft law norms, international norms. The assertion that climate change is a moral and ethical issue and how important it is, how desperately important it is that we encourage others to have this conversation about the moral and ethical dimensions of climate change. Places where people can gather to share ideas and meet each other. We have the brains. We have sure everything we need. Unexpected results in technologies. The ecological change. footprint has expanded exponentially. I cannot believe that people still deny it. And I have badly need international laws that can be enforced. Between a growth that really benefits We have people. commodified water. Imagine if we commodified a lot of the air. Water ethical issues are actually hidden in scientific and economic. Obviously, arguments. we all feel this very safe. There's no way that we can immunize ourselves, however wealthy we are, from... To depend on government. This is one of the biggest challenges, I think, that we face over the next few decades. If global citizenship has any meaning, part of that meaning is that each one of us is part of a much larger government and have the power to have our say and to make our decisions within a democracy that stretches across the planet. One of the most pernicious forms of colonialism uh, evident in this new century is what I would call imaginative colonialism. And I think sometimes we in the fortunate world are much too ready to tell people in the less fortunate world what they should want and what they should need. After all, it's about the ethics of what this generation does relative to others. It's about the ethics of what uh, rich countries do relative to poor countries. You can't have this debate without the ethical values, and it's, uh, uh, it's dangerous uh, and dishonest uh, if you try to do so. We'll have to learn to live in elegant simplicity, to have what we need, to live more simply so that other people may simply live.